Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Riley Wolf and we are here for the state of DBW in November of 2020. I'm here to run down what has happened so far because of uh, Revolution and Behind Bars, which it looks like it is going to be view count wise our biggest pay-per-view weekend we've ever had and i thank every single one of you for tuning in both live and afterward getting the feedback in i truly do appreciate you but let's get into what came of those results at revolution and behind bars first off she named some number one contenders for respective champions War Treaty, because of their match against the full-blooded Italians, will challenge the Blade Runners for the EBW United States Tag Team Champions. And justly, without TDA trying to seek back their titles due to their breakup, the Horsemen will step up at Silent Night Deadly Night to challenge WMD for the Tag Team Champions. Along with that, because of her impressive match against Rachel Jackson at Revolution, Roxanne Evans is going to be challenging for the Women's Champion at Silent Night Deadly Night. But speaking of the women's title match, unfortunately, there was a massacre that happened on that night. My mother, Maria Wolf, decided to put Roxanne Dean's life on the line and hit her with eight mothwing pile drivers. Because of the reckless abandonment of her co-workers, Maria Wolf will be suspended indefinitely for 30 days. We do not take kindly to an intentional injury on our payroll. Um, we have talked to Roxanne Dean after her being rushed into the medical facility. She is okay. Thankfully, Roxanne Dean will recover. There was no major injuries, but the doctors do not want to clear Roxanne Dean for another four weeks. So, she will not be competing until Silent Night, Deadly Night, when she takes on Roxanne Evans. Now, let, let's save that. Let's go into the women's tag title. Congratulations to Lulu Bates and Gianna Michaels in winning the gauntlet. But, I'm here to explain how we are going to name your first contenders for the DBW Women's Tag Team Champion. We are going to have two matches that will happen the first and second week of 3D. And the three women, because it will be a tag team match on the first week, the winner of that match will go on to the next week. The women that will be in those sets of matches will be confirmed at a later date. One Shot Kid came to me personally after Silent Night Deadly Night came to an end and demanded a rematch and I'm going to happily apply. So at Silent Night Deadly Night we will see One Shot Kid get a rematch for the DBW World Heavyweight Champion against Lance Roman. Now on to a bit of personal matters. At DBW Revolution, my son, Rivalino Wolf, participated in a match against Christian Taylor. I am very proud of my son, but he could not get the job done. And unfortunately, NBS, JD Rack, Xavier Williams, and Christian Taylor decided to continue the verbal assault onto my son. And that I will take personal enough who stepped in the ring next Wednesday at DVW 3D against the man that beat my son, Christian Taylor. Christian, you might have beaten my son, 
I'm a former world champion, hardcore champion, and intercontinental champion. You have never stepped in the ring with someone like me, Christian. So be ready, because I'm not going to hold anything back someone that disrespects my family. Now, back to Silent Night Deadly Night. We are going to be making history at Silent Night Deadly Night by announcing two matches right here, right now. They're going to be very special matches. They are the Christmas Chaos Ladder Match for the men and the women where the prize in that match will be a briefcase that holds the contract for a championship match at any time. Only caveat is, only the holder of the briefcase will know the contents of the contract. We, the fans, and even His fellow wrestlers will not know about the contents of the contract. And I'm going to explain to you who are going to be. I'm going to name the first three entries into the Christmas Chaos Ladder. Two of which are going to be the winners of a certain match at Future Shop. Because, shortly after the Women's Gauntlet at Revolution, Noah Elijah came to me and said that they want the Suicide Squad. They do not care whether they are champions or not. They want the Suicide Blonde at Future Shop. I responded with, I'll do you one better. The match that you're demanding I'm going to put at Future Shock, and the winner of the match, both team members will compete the very next night. We'll get all expenses flown over from Dudleyville over to Green Bay, Wisconsin to compete in the Women's Christmas Chaos Ladder Match. And for the Men's Ladder Match, I can confirm one name. And that is a man that is going to be moving up from DBW 3D up to DBW Table Time. And that is the Charm City Tank, Damien Ace. And he will be making his debut next Monday on Table Time. Not only that, but he is the first man confirmed for the Christmas Chaos Ladder Match. More news will come... When it comes to the actual content of the first week back on DBW, on DBW Tabletop, when Tony Sparacio sits down with Johnny Farmer, Jimmy Darrow, and many more. So that's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for tuning in to the State of DBW. Until next time, I'm Riley Wolf, signing off.